Good morning, folks. If things had gone a bit differently, we'd be in a minor panic mode this morning. Huge solar eruption. Not aimed at Earth, but triggering a proton storm here, and it wasn't the only solar event, nor is it all we have to discuss today. But let's start there with the last 24 hours on the sun. Top right is the home to the eruption of note, powerful filament blast and resulting M-class solar flare. The plasma filament crossing the Earth-facing half of the sun collapses afterwards. Both events are meaningful here today. Let's start with the big blast on the northern departing limb. What a fantastic eruption. It exploded away very quickly, but more important than the quickness is the density. Portions of the CME were ultra-dense as they left our star, and would have been big trouble for our technology and power grids if it had been aimed at Earth. As it is, the eruption will miss our planet, but as we've seen before, it surged high-energy protons throughout the solar system. This morning, we're in a level 2 proton storm event. But the last portion of that may be getting help from this collapsing filament. Even though the primary visible evidence is within the corona, downward, as often happens with these events, it looks like a CME was launched. You can see the faint halo signature here, and a small CME may be heading our way. The speckled points as the CME erupts indicates it may too be contributing to the proton storm. Solar Watch remains elevated here this weekend. Quick update on Voyager 2. They say some commands sent to the craft inadvertently caused it to lose communication with Earth for a brief period here, expected to resume soon. Color me dubious, as this hasn't happened in the decades of the craft's existence, and it's at a critical point right now, able to detect subtle signatures of the oncoming galactic current sheet. But that's just me. Lastly, folks, it's no secret that our battle with astronomy over Nova Science has been such a definitive and goofy whirlwind that we keep having to add to the paradigm of them not knowing how Nova work, or the fact that our sun can produce a recurrent one. Today, we've got one of the best Nova scientists on Earth tearing down the walls of that paradigm, suggesting major unknown physics must be at work. It is our opinion. We have already demonstrated their lack of understanding of the big blasts in space, and this, from one of the experts, confirms there's still a lot they just don't understand about what's going on with NOVA. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below in the description box. Proton storm ongoing. Solar watch is high. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.